What's happening? Today we're going to talk about neutering your dog and shit. Okay? I'm sure it's necessary, you know, to, to knock down the dog population and everything. But we're just sitting here. We're talking about cutting the dog's balls off. Look at his ears. His ears are drooping and shit. He don't like hearing that. You wouldn't want nobody to cut your balls off, would you? If somebody cut my balls off, I would lose all my confidence. I'd want to go out in the woods. Like when my granddaddy used to take a dog out and he'd come back and the dog got old, he'd come back. The dog was gone. I said, well, granddaddy, where the dog go? He's like, he went to the happy hunting ground. I never understood where the fuck the happy hunting ground was. But if somebody cut my balls off, I'd be looking for it. I can tell you. I'd be wanting to walk in the woods and come back. You know, I had this old dog, the last one I had, they had neutered him. And it's like they left his ball sack there. And that shit was just, you know, hanging like a flap, you know, I call him old flappy, you know. And he looked like his confidence was down. He looked sad. He, he would sit there on the couch and he would just sit there and he looked so sad, you know, with his, he just drooping and shit like that. So I started thinking, you know, is there anything that you could do about that to, to help the dog out to gain his confidence back? So I started looking on the internet just to fucking see if they got such a thing as fake dog balls. And I found it. It's called nudicles. Guess what, people? If your dog has got, him, you know, he's had his balls cut off, you didn't have your dog neutered and shit, he's lost his confidence. If you want to, you know, go ahead on and get him some nudicles and shit. And I say that because, I mean, you know, if you, let's imagine that you're a dog and you don't, and somebody just cuts your balls off and everything, right? One of the favorite things a dog likes to do is lick his balls. How in the hell are you going to lick your balls when you just got a flap? What are you going to do, lick your flappy? You know, if you give him, if you get him some fake dog balls, you know, and maybe even fucking beef his fucking confidence up a little more by getting him some bigger ones than what he started off with, you know. They got all, Nudicles got all different sizes of uh, fake dog balls, prosthetic dog balls. And they're made out of 100% hard silicone. They will not be rejected from the, the dog's body. I didn't realize there was so many dogs out there faking the funk. But it, but it, but if I read it up, you know, and the site claims that over five hundred thousand dogs. Come here, boy. Come here. Over five hundred. Shit. Shit. Over five. Now he still got his balls, right? But they say that over five hundred dogs, five hundred thousand dogs have fucking fake prosthetic dog balls and stuff like that. So there has to be a reason why people are putting fucking fake dog balls in their dogs and nudicles and stuff like that. I believe that it gives them something to, you know, gives them back their pastime, gives them their confidence and stuff like that, makes them feel whole again, gives them something to lick on and stuff to pass the time by and everything like that. I mean, they come in all different sizes, right up to bull nuts. So, like, if you fucking got a bull and you had his balls cut off, you can get you a pair of bull nuts, you know? I can imagine this dog right here with a set of bull nuts. He'd be a bad motherfucker, wouldn't he? He would fucking, he, he, would, he would feel like he could conquer the world. You know, but right now, he's got his balls and everything, and his testosterone levels is coming up, and he's starting to fuck up. He's starting to run out in the woods and shit like that, and uh, he's going out, he's going booty hunting and shit for other dogs and stuff like that, and he's messing and bothering the neighbors up and shit like that. He'll try to open the doors up and go outside and everything, and he's just two years old, and he's just getting to the point where he's not squatting no more, and he's cocking his leg up in the air and shit like that. So that means right there, his testosterone levels is up and stuff. So um, how would you like it if I cut your balls off? Would you want me to go get you murdered? You want you to get your balls cut off? Huh? Look. He's like, hell no, I don't cut my balls off. He don't want that shit. He don't want nobody to cut his fucking nuts off, man. He's like, well, no, buddy. And, you know, and how can you explain it to him, you know? Come on, boy, boy, let's go take a ride in the car, and let's go, and, and they get all happy, excited, run out and get in the car and shit like that, and you take them to this place, and the next thing they know, they wake up and their balls is gone, and, they, and then for the, then then it takes them a little while to accept it and shit, and they're sitting over in the corner all drooping down like this and shit like that. Look at him. He went to go get his bone. He's like, look, he's like, please don't fucking cut my balls off and shit. He fucking got his bone and shit. Look at that. <clears throat> anyway, he <laughs> this is a Kong bone. He can't chew that shit up because it's Kong and shit. But, I mean, imagine that's your fucking, you got a set of fucking doggy noodles. It's about that size, right there, just like that. Maybe that's what he brought it over here for so he could fucking describe it. So imagine you got your set of dog balls right there. 
and you cut them off, right? And all of a sudden, it's just a little flap hanging over there. And it ain't shit, you know? And then you go get him some nudicles, and they put his new dog balls in or something like that, and he's all pumped up again. What would you rather fucking lick if you was a dog? Would you rather lick your flappy, or would you rather have a big old set of fucking balls to lick on? That's what he wants to do. Look. That's right. That's right. That's right. Look. Look. How about this? You wanted to lick the flappy? Look. He's like, I can't do shit with that. Take the bone, motherfucker. <laughs> so, they come in all different sizes. And if you don't have a lot of money, and you don't really give a fuck about your dog, you can get the cheap ones that are hard plastic. And the company says, but if you get the real expensive ones, like the premium models, they're extra soft to the touch and feel. Now, you know, when I read that, I sit around and I think, you know, there must be some demented motherfuckers out there that's going to be fucking sitting out there and actually really give a fuck whether the dog's balls are hard plastic or fucking silicone. I, I mean, who's going to sit around and fucking squeeze their dog's balls and fucking be like, oh, I wish I had got, they're so hard, I wish I had got the, the plastic silicone ones that felt more natural, you know, the dog don't fucking know, what's he going to do, he's not going to instinctively bite down on his fucking nut and say, damn man, it's hard on my teeth, he's not going to be chewing his balls, he's going to be fucking licking them gently, you know what I'm saying, so I don't think the dog would fucking notice whether he had hard plastic nudical nuts or if he had fucking silicone nuts, the, the, point, the whole point people is this, is this, if you're gonna fuck it, if, if you're gonna fuck it, you gotta put yourself in his shoes. Well, he don't wear no shoes, but if you're gonna have to put yourself in his spot, if you got a set of nuts and you're gonna have to take them off and everything to keep your dog from rubbing and get him to settle down and calm down and everything, you should at least have enough heart if you're gonna spend the money to have him neutered as to fucking get him a set of balls and shit like that. To, so he can restore his confidence, become a happy dog, feel whole again. He, he can be, get his fake dog balls on and shit like that. And this don't, and you know, I guess you could be fucked up about it and just get him a little tiny pair of doggy balls, you know, because they even got them for cats. But you know, you don't want to, he's, a, I would get the dog some balls one step up bigger than the fucking ones that he had before, you know. And the company never really returned my email. They got a little pissed off at me, kind of, I guess they did, because around, it was a holiday time and, and I had, emailed them a couple of times and asked them could they make a special set of nudicles for me but for my dog that if you fucking pluck the dog on his nuts and shit his balls lit up you know and I don't think they thought that was funny but I was being serious I thought you know I think imagine fucking dogs fucking balls if you fucking have they got the little fucking lights that last like three or four years or whatever and every now and then you could take it out and change the battery the little LED It'd be cool if the dog's balls would flash. Or when he fucking licked them, it would play a tune. Because I think you could still hear them, you know. Jingle balls, you know. And fucking, or whatever you wanted to play. And shit like that. Look, he's, he's backed up right there like that. He's like, he's showing his balls. He's showing his dominance. You know what I'm saying? He kicks his legs out like that. And he's a pit bull. How you gonna fucking make him into a pit bull? And uh, a pit, take a pit bull and cut his balls off and make him feminine. You know what I'm saying? That's like getting a vasectomy. You know, my buddy fucking, he went and got a vasectomy and shit. And he said, I got a vasectomy. And I was laughing at him. I was like, you ain't got no dick no more. <laughs> He's like, no, no, it ain't like that. You know, but for me, it is. I fucking came into this world with a fucking, with some of the biggest fucking balls that you ever fucking seen in your fucking life. And to be quite honest with you, you know, my balls are legendarily huge and shit like that. I don't even think, you, you know, that most dudes don't have balls like that. So I fucking, I really do like my balls. The only thing I don't like about them is that they fucking, they're so big, they fucking hang low and they kind of get in the way every now and then. So I got to powder them up so they don't stick to my leg, which kind of sucks. But with him, he's got fucking hair all over his balls and everything. And uh, so if you get your dog neutered, the point is, get you some neuticles. Get you some fucking fake dog balls. Fucking make the dog feel whole again. Make him gain his confidence back. Give him something to lick on. Make him happy. Make him if you really the dog will fucking smile if he gets a fucking set of fake nuts. I don't know if it, you know in his mind whether he'd be. It'd be like you fucking took his fucking favorite toy away from him, and he's fucking sitting there fucking wishing he had it back. And then all of a sudden, you go back to the place. He's like, oh shit! The last time I came went to the place, I come back and my fucking balls are gone. Now he's taking me back again. I guess I ain't going to have a dick when I get back this time. But then he gets all surprised. He wakes up and he's got a brand new set of fucking balls and shit. 
the bitch, the dog will smile. He'll be happy. He'll have a fucking fake balls and shit. So yes, there's such a thing as prosthetic dog balls. I don't know if they got them for humans or not. I know, um, I know one dude that only had one nut. He fucking said it hung in the middle, and this old lady liked it because it smacked her dead on her thing, you know, whatever. And then my other buddy, uh, his daddy and shit, he fucking lost both of his balls and stuff like that together. And he fucking, I was like, man, you should get you some prosthetic balls. And he said, well, if they're better, they're going to clank together and make a noise. And I was like, no, nah, they make them for dogs and shit. So, I mean, you know, even if they don't make prosthetic human balls, maybe you can get, and you lost your nuts, maybe you can go get yourself a set of dog noodles and shit, you know, and fucking put them in yourself. Or get somebody to put them in, find a doctor, somebody to put them in or whatever. You know, I, I don't quite know how it works or nothing like that. But anyway, if you got any questions about nudicles or about, you know, neutering your dog to keep down the dog population or fucking trying to tame your dog and calm him down, it don't always work when you try to fucking cut your dog's balls off and make him calm down and everything. And I think that the dog is supposed to keep his balls for fucking what? How long? Three years. Yeah, the first three years he's supposed to keep his balls because it helps him, you know, not have a, a risk of cancer, and it fucking helps him uh, grow to their potential. Yeah, grow to his potential and stuff like that. So this dog right here that I got, <whistles> come here, boy. He only got fucking, he's only two years old. So he got about another year of being a jack leg and fuck up. And, you know, and then I, if I still have him, which I doubt it, I'll be fucking getting his balls cut off if he don't act right and shit. But uh, if somebody told me that if I don't act right, if they was going to cut my balls off, I'd be like fucking in the military. I'd be slay, the most straight lace motherfucker you ever met. So, but if you like that, you know, this video, whatever, you got any questions about your prosthetic doggy balls called noodles, go ahead on and subscribe to Get Go TV and ask me some questions. I'll answer it. Subscribe to my channel, you know. That's what today's talk, topic is, dog neutering and prosthetic dog balls. So, We'll be in more videos and stuff like that. If you can think of something that you'd like for me to discuss or talk about, leave it in the comment. Ask, send a request, you know. I'm open for any fucking thing that you want to talk about it. You want me to make a video about it? I'll talk about any fucking thing. I got nothing else to fucking do this time in the evening. So if I can leave a comment about what you want to fucking hear, and I'll make the video and shit like that. So um, don't be an asshole. Get your dog some fucking balls. Make him fucking feel confident. Subscribe to Get Go TV and have a good day.